okay so now uh, in this jumping system we got couple of bugs actually for example if I jump like this you can see see uh, some stuttering happens at some point so yeah I want to fix those problems see some more things happens okay um, so let's see how to fix those so yeah first I'll put this uh, game window here and disable maximize in the viewport and then uh, we can let's select the mesh and see what's happening when the characters start to be buggy now as I can see yeah that uh, animation glitch happens when the jump loop and jump ending is yeah jump loop is transferred to jump ending so yeah I guess that's where the problem is and here we have disabled has exit time and we have this transition area too so if that's the cause of this problem uh, let's see how does the jump loop works oh we have a little problem here we don't need this part I guess it should be stopped in frame 12 delete these keys we had some other problem yeah this one now I remember so maybe as a workaround for that we can make this slow I hope it would it wouldn't be noticeable oh it is unfortunately So how to get rid of that? What if I reduce this time? Let's see. No. So is it happening due to I case? We can check that by disabling the IKs. Yeah, it seems the problem is in IKs, not the transitions. Okay, then. that I already did something 
to disable eye case when I start jumping. Um, Alright, so here I disable eye case with this with two second delay. Okay, so yeah, let me enable eye case again. So here instead of doing it like that, let's create another function to disable eye case. Like this, public. Ah, uh, no. let's make it here. Public void toggle IK, like and let's use a boolean value. Enable and. Here let's set IK enabled to whatever the value we get here enable and then set IK weight like this IK weight equals um, how to do a one line if one line if statement uh, like this enable if it is true then keep the ik weight if it is false zero yeah so it's like if enable is true set ik weight to whatever the IK weight at the moment otherwise make it false make it zero mm. okay now in the character instead of this one when I jump I'll use double IK false to disable like case and then here when the character is on landed character ik no what's the variable name oh sorry not here in here when it is landed we need to enable like case again but we have a problem here so this delegate event is a, I have bind this character animation land event so yeah maybe we should have a separate function here point on landed And instead of this one, let's uh, use on landed event we have created here, like this. And here, I'll call this function, and also uh, character ik toggle ik. True. that means I want to enable like yes again all right let's see if that works well no No. Why? Maybe. Yeah, we should. 
toggle IK with the delay mm. but how um I uh, yeah what if I instead of calling this what if I called character IK temporary disable IK with one second delay That seems to work. Yeah, that is working. All right. Um, okay, with that we have fixed IKs and jump in bug fixes. So what next? And yeah, I always had this problem because you can see this jump in doesn't feel very real because kind of feels like the falling down part is a little bit slower why is that and I did check here in the project settings under physics this is already minus 9.81 so it cannot be a problem with the gravity so I just did some googling and uh, I see this one it's because unity physics engine is in uses one as one meter so if your object would normally be half a meter but you yeah so basically it's about a scale so all right and yeah i don't think i have this problem so yeah slow gravity means your objects are scaled wrong um, probably most object there should be one or two scale units in size Okay, let's see the scale of this character um, to measure the scale I let's put a cube where is it and it is one Let's move down the character too. So yeah, we could say roughly the character's scale height is like two. So what's the problem? It can be anything with the scale, or maybe this. Gravity is actually right. Yeah, maybe the problem is in the animation itself. Uh, it doesn't really show the impact. So if that's the case, I can't fix it because I can't do animations. All right. So anyway, I'll stop this episode for this point. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Also, this episode is sponsored by these two generous patrons. Thank you very much for your support. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.